Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to configure IPsec tunnel, VPN tunnel between 40 gate firewall and SRX Juniper. So let me walk through the network topology. So one side we have 40 gate firewall, which will have a policy based VPN configuration. And on the other side, we have SRX device, which will have route based VPN configured. So on 40 gate, as you know that 40 gate is an interface based firewall. So you have to you have to configure a policy based on the interfaces rather than you know using the zone information. So on 40 gate, I have port two outside interface assigned the IP address 192.168.254 on internal port port one. I have assigned 192.168.137.3. On an SRX, I have assigned both the interfaces in same zone to avoid additional uh, policy configuration. Let me just show you. As you can see, this is my outgoing interface and is having the IP address 192.168.2253. And then my internal network is connected to loop pack 0 0.1, which will have the IP address 3333. As you can see here, this is my internal network. On the other hand, let me just show you the zone configuration as well. So in zone, I have trust zone. In my scenario, I have assigned both the interface in the same zone so that I can avoid uh, the policy configuration. I'm just, I'm keeping uh, everything simple so that we can at least learn how to configure VPN. So in real time scenarios, you will have uh, multiple zones and you will have to configure the policy based on uh, the zones configure on 40 gate so you can see um, port one is the internal facing port which will have the ip address 192.168.1373 you can see in the diagram in this port and the port two which is outside port will have the ip address 192.168.254. Okay, uh, we will use GUI to configure uh, policy based VPN on 40 gate. Let me just show you. I already have VPN configured on SRX. This is my phase one with the proposal P1. SHA-1, pre-shared key, test, and this is in main mode. And the outgoing interface is GE 0 slash 0 slash 0, which is this port. And phase two, I have proposal P2 with SHA-1 ESP test. And then I have a route. You can see that I have a route pointing to tunnel interface SD01. Let's go to 40 gate. First of all, we will create the tunnel. This is going to be a custom tunnel. So we will name it as a it is going to be custom. And then you have to disable this configuration because uh, in 40 gate firewall, uh, route base, VPN 
is also called as interface space VPN, where you create a virtual tunnel interfaces. But here in policy based VPN, you don't create those. So you have to disable this option and then type in the IP address, the peer IP, which is 192.168.2.5.3. And then this interface is outgoing interface. As you can see in the diagram that the outgoing interface is port two. And then I don't need this because I know that there is nothing in between that is doing that. I don't need this as well. And the method is pre shared key. So this has to match the other end as well. So my password is all right, so this should match the appreciate key that you have given on SRX device. Okay, I don't think you can see the appreciate key configured on the other end. Uh, let me just check. Okay, uh, it is. Uh, I will not show you the exact appreciate key, but then I know what I have configured. It is going to be main mode, version one, and then I don't need additional uh, proposal. I just need one proposal. It is going to be group two, 86400. Let me check in my proposal on SRX. So you can see 86400. This is done. We don't need XAuth. This is going to be VPN phase two. I'm not going to use any proxy ID, which is also known as a traffic selector in most of the vendors. Again, the proposal, I just need one proposal. I don't need PFS because uh, I think I haven't used it on the other end. In phase two proposal P2, if you see, I have not used the perfect forward secrecy. So we are going to disable that option. And then the lifetime is 3600, if I'm not wrong. Okay, it is 3600. Let me cross check everything. Pre, this is a pure IP outgoing interface. Disable, disable, pre shared key, version one, main mode, dash SHA one, group two, eight six four zero zero. Okay. So we have configured the VPN and then we have to configure the policy which will allow the traffic to, uh, you know, go from one end to other end. So uh, this is going to be uh, explicit VPN policy. We'll name it as VPN. So it is going to come from port one. You can see in the diagram that the interesting traffic will come from this subnet, 192.168.137.0, which is connected to port one. So I will uh, assign this port one here and then outgoing is going to be port two. For time being, I will uh, set it to all, or if you want, you can set it to a specific subnet behind your uh, firewall.
so you have to click this option which will give you the vpn tunnel which you have configured and one more thing is uh, while configuring you should enable this option as well which will have a bi-directional which will allow the traffic to flow bi-directional in a bi-directional manner using the same policy And then last, you should have a route, a normal route. As you can see, I already have a route pointing to this loopback interface, which is having the IP address 3333 for testing purpose. So I guess I'm done with the configuration. Let us check. So this is my policy, which will allow the traffic in a bi-directional manner from inside to outside, port one to port two, and then port two to port one on a 40 gate firewall. Source port is port one, destination port is port two. Address all, IPsec, status enabled. Inbound enabled, outbound is already enabled. So this is my policy on SRX from trust to trust, which allows all the traffic. So by default, when you ping, it is going to use the external interface on 40 gate so i'm changing that to use this interface
Okay. So uh, seems like the tunnel is up. Okay, you can see that the tunnel is up and we have a bi-directional data flowing. Let's validate that. So the outgoing data is increasing. That means the traffic is hitting the policy. Let us check the other end. All right, uh, you can see that we have achieved the bi-directional communication through VPN tunnel. If you go check the uh, incoming data, it will increase. So that means our traffic is hitting the policy. So this is our security association phase one, which is up on SRX device. And this is the cookie information and the remote gateway. Let us check the phase two. So this is our phase two and the SPI value should match on both the ends. Basically it should match because our tunnel is up. You see here, this is our uh, gateway name, policy based, local subnet, remote subnet, Rx packet. This is a uh, receive, this is a send. 3838, there's no drop. So this is going to be our proxy ID. So by default, it is going to take 0000. On our end, so we haven't configured anything on the SRX as well. So it is again taking 000 source 000 destination service end. And this is our SPI incoming outgoing. Let us match this. So you can see here incoming SPI, outgoing SPI. This is inbound to 40 gate and outbound to SRX and then vice versa. Tunnel up, received and sent packet. So this is again a troubleshooting commands so that you can check what's going on, whether there is any drop on your end or not. That's it guys and thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates. And do subscribe to my channel so that you can get the update whenever I post any video. Thank you guys once again, have a great day.